Okay, number two, same thing. We're solving for x. So step one is isolate the radical. And for this one, this is already isolated. There's a radical, and then there's an equal sign, and then a number. So step one is already done. We don't have to do anything. Step two is square both sides. So I'm going to take this side and square it, and this side and square it. So again, what happens is the square and the radical are opposite operations, and we're just left with whatever's under the radical. So just x minus 4 equals negative 2 squared, which is positive 4, because a negative times a negative equals a positive. Okay, so that was step two. We squared both sides. Step three is when we solve. So for this one, it's x minus four. To get x by itself, I take the opposite of minus and I add. So I'm gonna plus four on both sides and get x equals eight. Last step is check to see if your solution is extraneous. So what that does is we take the original equation, so the square root of x minus 4 equals negative 2, and I'm going to plug in x equals 8. So I'm going to replace this. So I still have the square root, but instead of x, I'm going to put what we solved for and then minus 4 equals negative 2. So 8 minus 4 is 4. And what happens here is the square root of 4 is positive 2. So it ends up that these are not equal. So that means x equals 8 is extraneous. Because I plugged them back in, I plugged in the solution, and I didn't get what I was supposed to get. I should have got negative 2. So if there are no solutions or an extraneous solution, you would type in none.